Coming up in this video, how to style the default audio player into a retro-inspired audio player. This video is part of the five-part mini-series on how to customize DV's audio module. Before we dive into the tutorial, let me show you what the end result is going to be. Without any customizations to the DV audio module, it looks quite bland, as we can see here in the top. Now, after we've applied the design, it's going to pretty much look like this. So in this tutorial, this is what we're trying to achieve. So to achieve this design, we're going to need one image and also some CSS code to make these uh, drop shadows and customizations. So to get started, I'm going to dive into my WordPress admin. So I want to start off by adding a brand new page. So I'm going to go to pages and then click on add new. And I'm going to call this page audio 2. I want to click on new the TV builder. And then here we're going to start off by adding a background image to the section. So I'm going to click on the settings and then on the background image, I'm just going to click on upload an image. I have my image in the media library, so I'm just going to click and then set as background. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and save and exit. Next, what we need to do is to go into the section settings and make sure that the custom width is set to 40%. So here I'm going to go to custom width and I'm going to change this from pixels to percentage. And then I'm just going to amend this from 80 to 40%. And then we're going to save and exit. Now it's time to add the module. So I'm going to click on insert columns. Now what we need here is just this one single column. And then the module that we're going to need for this is the audio module. So I'm just going to click on audio. And then I'm going to start by adding the audio file. Now make sure that your file is, a, is an mp3 file. Otherwise this won't work. And again, I have this in my media library. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that file and then set as audio for this module. Next, we're going to add the title, the artist name, and the album name. So the title here is Moneymaker. The artist name is One Hit Wonder. And the album name is Blink of an Eye. Now we need to go to the advanced design settings and make some changes there. So we're going to start off here by changing the background color. So what we're trying to achieve here is a slightly transparent background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select white and then I'm going to drag the slider until I get somewhere in the middle right there. Next, we're going to change the title font to Rini Beanie. So I'm going to scroll all the way down and uh, this is the font that we need. And then we're going to make the uh, text color uh, this bright orange. So I'm going to click on this orange. So let's do a quick preview and see what we've done so far. Okay, so we can see it's looking quite good. We have our background image and we have our title there and we have all the information that we need. Next, we need to add some CSS code to add some rounded corners. So to do that, what we need to do is to go to the custom CSS. So this code needs to go into the main element. So I'm just going to paste it in there. And then next, we need to add a drop shadow onto the title. So since we need to add this, the drop shadow onto the um, title, so we need to scroll until we get the audio title and add the CSS code there. So as I mentioned, this is going to give you that drop shadow on there. So let's do a quick preview. And we can see now here on the title, we have a drop shadow. And also we've got the rounded corners. So the uh, audio module settings are looking fine so far, so we can go ahead and save and exit. So next we need to add another module, and this time it's the call to action module. I'm going to click on call to action, and then here we need to add the button URL. Now on the button URL, you can add a um, link to whatever uh, websites you'd like, but for now I'm just going to add a blank link. For the button text, I'm going to type download on iTunes. And then here it says use background color. Now we don't need the background color. So I'm going to go ahead and click on no. Now before we go ahead and style the button, what we need to do is to add a custom margin of minus 20. Now what this does is it makes the button move slightly closer to the player. In order for us to customize the button, we need to make sure that this is set to on. Now here you can see we have a whole lot more settings to adjust. 
So first of all, we need to change this button text color to orange. So I'm gonna click orange. The border width needs to be one. The text size needs to be set to 14 because uh, 20 is a bit too big. And uh, we need to set it up to, and then we need to also make sure that the icon color is set to orange. So let's go all the way down until we find button icon color and then also change this to orange. So let's take a look at how this is looking so far. So I'm gonna click on the preview button and we can see our button is right here. But we're gonna adjust this because this is not the uh, actual final view. Okay, so uh, we can see here we need some color onto this button. So let's go ahead and add that. So here we're gonna make sure that the uh, button border color is set to orange and the background color is should be also set to orange, but this time we're going to lower the uh, transparency. So we're going to push it down to uh, to about right there in the middle. Okay, let's do a quick preview and see how this is looking so far. Okay, so this is looking good so far. What we need to do now is to make sure that the text is set to all caps and also that this button is centered. So let's go ahead and do that. So here on the button font, we just need to make sure that it's all caps. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, so to center that button, all we need to do is to come here to general settings, and then we're going to change uh, this text orientation from left to center, and that should place the button right in the middle. So let's do a quick preview again. Okay, so we can see now the button is in the middle. Okay, so that's looking good so far. What we need to do now is to save and exit. And let's take a look at how this design is looking so far. So there you have it. This looks pretty cool. So what we've done here is we've transformed the default player that comes with DV uh, into a retro looking design. So go ahead, try it out. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.